Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off your hot and cold water supplies. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the Samsung washer drain hose. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it out of AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new drain hose. The drain hose carries wastewater out of the washer. The main should be changing it out if it's damaged and you're getting water leaking on the floor. In order to change the part, we have to go to the back of the machine. Now that we're around back, we have access to the drain hose. It's located here on the right side of the washer. In order to access the drain pump, we have to take off the access panel. So we're going to use a Phillips screwdriver to take out the screws. In order to get the access panel off, we're going to lift up on it so these tabs come up and then pull the bottom out and then pull the tabs out from the top. Once you have it free, you can pull it off and set it aside. Now that we have the panel out of the way, we can follow the drain hose down to see where it connects to the drain pump. We're going to put a towel down to catch any water that may come out. And we're just going to use a pliers to compress the clamp and move it up the drain hose so we can pull it off the drain pump. Once you have the clamp up, you just reach in and pull the drain hose off the pump. Now that we have it disconnected from the drain pump, we're going to come out to the outside on the top and take it out of these clamps. We're just going to use the Phillips screwdriver to take out this screw. Once you have the screw out, you want to take the clamp off because the new one doesn't come with it. Set it aside. Then we can just pull it out of the next clamp. And then we can use the Phillips screwdriver to take out the screw that holds the black plate in. Ours is already broken, but we're still going to take out the screw and take it out. Once you have that out, we can reach down and pull the drain hose out. Once you have it out, you can pull it off the washer. Here's the old drain hose next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the drain hose in, we're going to do it the opposite way. We're going to hook it up to the drain pump first so we can mount the plate onto the back wall. So we're just going to push this in and push it down onto the drain pump. Once you have it in place, we're going to reach in with the pliers to compress the clamp and move it down on the hose so you get a good seal. If you have to, you can reach in and push the other side of the clamp down to make it easier to slide down. Now that we have the hose on the pump, we have to move this bracket up so we can mount it right. You want to push it up onto the foam part, and then there's a little tab on the bottom that you're going to have to lift up and hook on the bottom. Once you have that in place, you can lift it up. And we can use the Phillips screwdriver to put in the screw. Once you have the screw tightened down, we're just going to grab the drain hose and push it up into the upper clamp. Once you have it clamped in place, we're going to put the secondary clamp on that holds it on. I'm going to line it up right here with this line. Just put the clamp on. We're going to use the Phillips screwdriver to put in the screw. Once you have that on, we can put the access panel back on. Just going to line up the tabs on the top and push it up all the way. And then push it in and drop it down so the two lower tabs hold it in place. Once you have it in there, we can 
Use a Phillips screwdriver to put in the screws. Now that you have the access panel on, you can plug it back in, turn the water on, and take a burst spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.